Hi booktube, it's Stephanie and today I'm going to share with you the books that I bought in July. Now for July, it was the first month in ages and I'm talking like five, six months, I think. Maybe not, yeah, I think, yeah, maybe January, beginning of February was the last time I actually went into a bookstore. So I bought some books. <laughs> And then I also ordered some My Life I Buy Books. So let's get through the ones that I got. So the first that I got on my visit was That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, Trinity in Tempest, Volume 1 through 3. And this is a side story to the That Time I Got Reincarnated as Slime. Um, and the author for this one is Taitono. So it's still the world that's created by Fuse but it's a different author and artist for this particular side series and i liked it um i can't like this is one of two side stories by the way and um volume three is all the volumes that are currently out there in it and yeah i i prefer the original series but I have only read the first volume so far. So it could be that the other two are absolutely brilliant and I have no idea what I'm talking about. But yeah, I definitely prefer the original series so far. But yeah, we are following... Well, the main character that we are following is this one, whose name is Puss. And she's sent in as a sort of spy to spy on the kingdom to see how they go and things like that and she meets name then we have Stella who is a, thinks that the demon lord uh, Milin is the best thing ever and then we have Nemu who is from another kingdom so all of them are like well maybe not this one but uh, both uh, Pose and Nemo are spies from their respective demon lords to spy on the kingdom while another one might be sent as a spy but also obsessed with the with going to all the places that her beloved demon lord has been to and yeah uh, they are definitely different characters they are set characters they're not like they are definitely different from each other it's not copy and paste but yeah we'll see what i think about this um but the first volume was a three star read and the first volume was definitely a lot of world building in it now um when i ordered this one because this is one that i ordered um they didn't they had the first volume in but then when they packed my order they did not so i have here volume two of ragnar crimson manga um, and i do not want to look at the back of what this is about so i can actually not tell you anything um, i will probably not update you because i like this the first volume is on its way they have written that out so we'll see it just sounded really cool and i like the covers so yes can't tell you anything about this but this is a new manga series and no i do not need to start a new manga series i know so the next one i have is a light novel um, another thing i did not need the king of the dead at the dark palace by sukike sukika i want to say cage um or something similar so the Sukikag. I have no idea. Um, and illustrations by Meron Tumari. But this is the first volume. It's not called a volume, it's basically just first light novel. And this in this we are following a boy who was really sick and when he died he discovers that he has been resurrected as an undead with the name End. And he's overjoyed because he has a fully functioning body and he's not bedridden and can do other things. The catch is that he needs to obey 
the person who raised him from the dead and he needs to come free i have no idea so we'll see the cover also intrigued me because it looks really romancy but yeah and he looked like a vampire because there's definitely bite marks on her shoulder there whatever we'll see and also there's more information on the web page when i buy them but then i don't look at it again oh yes this was a random purchase because I saw it and I was like, I need it. I need it now. Give it to me. I don't know how I have avoided not reading it. But that is How to Keep Dinosaurs, the best selling guide to choose an angry and your pet dinosaur by Robert March, forward by Richard Dawkins. 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 I'm just like... I'm just going to do this and hopefully you can see it when you pause but I'm going to read what the Guardian wrote here at the back because I usually don't care about blurbs but who could resist, wow. who could resist a handbook about potential pets that has a little symbol for like children and a separate one for like children to eat yes Okay, then we have one that I have read, and that is The Adventure Zone Murder on the Rockport Limited, which is the second graphic novel series in this, and I liked it. Uh, this follows the main character. Oh, and this is written by um, the McElroy brothers and their father, and art by Carrie Peach. So yes, and yes this following like the, this is a dnd game so we get the references to the dungeon master and in this one there has been a murder uh, and this person who was murdered was supposed to go on the rockport limited but the thing that he had has now been locked up in a safe in which the conductor is the only person who can open it and he needs to hold his hand on it for one hour before it can be opened and he refuses to leave the cabin because he needs to get back so they need to follow along the train and shit goes down I prefer definitely the first volume but that's a different thing it was a funnish read as I said I prefer the first one but it was nice and the ending had some Pretty pointed commentating about yeah I like that but the next couple of books actually let's go through this one first um, the next one I have here is Overlord 2 The Dark Warrior by Kugain Maruyama this is the sequel to the first one on the king and that one surprised me so much um, especially in the beginning because I got really emotional because I related so much to the main character but basically this is another thing with a main the main character who's from our world gets stuck in another world however in this case it's a kind of virtual game where you kind of log in with your conscious and you play and he is the guild master for this particular guild and he has been playing from the start and as time has gone by more and more of his guilds has they have quit they, or they have just not logged in and on this day the server is closing because they're closing down the Valhalla game they don't know if there's a type 2 they don't know anything about that but the serves are closing and he's there because he wants to be there when the servers close and he's the only one from his skill there because he has been faithful the entire time this is the part that i got really emotional about <laughs> because i'm i'm that kind of player once i'm set with a group like online even if everyone has stopped playing i'm still logging in <laughs> 
like right now I'm in a good place with those games that I am because it, because I get really anxious about quitting because I feel like I'm portraying the group that I have told that I would help and aid. Yeah, there's a reason why I'm I want to try World of Warcraft, but I don't want to try World of Warcraft because of that. So yeah, I just related a lot. But tangent done. Uh, what happens? It the service are close to close at midnight, and he does some rebellious things because he's like, screw it, the service are closing, let's just do these things. And then time goes on and he's like, What's going on? And and then so time goes on and he's like wait this after midnight what's going on and he's stuck in the game and the npcs are not really npcs he doesn't have access to the like hub or anything or like what he used to yeah he's basically stuck there and they are not at least not and they are not in valhalla anymore they are not in the game valhalla at all or they might be i don't know how should i know we haven't gotten that far in the story yet but i really wanted the second volume so here it is but yeah i got way too emotional for that okay the next four books are all books that have been on tabs i basically went you need to fix it you need to clear some of those out so i've got four books here the next four books are from that and then we have the illuminate one so first we have Hollow Kingdom by Kira Yang Buxton. This follows a crow. What's the crow's name? ST. The crow's name is ST and he's a domesticated crow. And he likes his life. He has Big Gim who gives him food. Like ST doesn't have to do anything. And he likes insulting the wild crows. And he loves Cheetos. However, one day, Big Gim's eyeball fall out. And he, is, he starts to feel like something is wrong and he can't really rouse him. Like, he gives him beer. He gets the dog to like slobber all over Big Gim, but nothing happens and he's incured. And he needs to go out of the outside and it turns out that the world has changed because the neighbors are devouring each other and the local wildlife is a bus with rumors of dangerous new predators roaming Seattle however he seems to be the only one who wants to help the humans like yes <laughs> that has been on my I want to buy you for ages <laughs> Now the next book is Beyond the Black Door by A.M. Strickland and this one following, this is set in a world in which, well, the main character, what was her name, uh, Kamai, she is a soul walker. She can go and see other people's souls. Some are beautiful gardens, some are dungeons, some are castles, etc. But wherever she goes, she has this, there's a black door there. And her mother tells her, I think it's mother. Yes, she's not allowed to open it. However, when uh, Kamai touches it, she feels like it's slowly pulsing. She hears her name being whispered from it. And when something dramatic and dangerous happens, she opens it. Da, da, da. Yeah. What has that this? The main reason why I really wanted to get this is because this is one of the few books that I have seen who lit, that's fantasy that literally has the main character sense with her as sexuality. And please note that there was no nothing in that was like, yes, it was said once. Thank you. That's enough um, for me. But yeah, and this is a new edition because we have her new book here on the back but so i don't know if that part but yeah i the main character is as, a, asexual now this is a dark fantasy and it has court intrigue and romance so yeah 
but the fact that the main character is, is a sexual is the main reason why I want to read this. Um, now I'm also a romantic, so yeah, but I want to see what I think about the asexual web on this one. Now the next one we have here is the first book in the Raven's Mark series because I just read that and that's Black Wind by Edgar MacDonald. This has also been on my list for ages that I want to read and I was reminded about it a couple of months ago when someone put it on her TBR. I'm blanking. But I saw it at least and yes, so I decided to got, get it. And this is, takes place in a world in which we have two rival nations and in the middle there is the wasteland. And the wasteland basically is, people die if they go into there. Um, and we are following a captain whose job it is that when traitors, thieves and other people try to flee and they go into there, it's his job to bring them back. It's an extremely dangerous job because of the dangers and things like that. However, except for this place called the Misery in between uh, the Republic and the Deep Kings, so we are in the Republic. Um, and they only, they have that one, but they have a machine called Nas Engine and it's there, it protects the border. That machine is failing. Yes. We'll see. It is pretty short. But I'm not reading novels right now, so I don't know why I get them. But yeah, this one I'm really intrigued by and I've heard so many great things about it. Next one I have here is another Shanker and I do not need to buy more Shankers, but I did. Another one that I was reminded by, by seeing it, someone had purchased it. And that is The Thousand Death of Ardo Ben by T uh, Tyler Whitesides. Now this follows the thief of Ben, who gets tossed in which stealing one of the greatest, like a very dangerous something, I don't know what, and I will not look it up here. I refuse and he needs to collect a crew that can help him in this because he knows that he can't really do that but it turns out that his, he and his crew might need to save entire humanity um, but yeah I just this is a trilogy the trilogy is finished this is the Shanker not the biggest book I have though um, but yeah, and I just love this cover. I know that it has another cover from when it was uh, in, uh, independently published, but so yeah, this is over to the, yeah, it's just Kingdom of Grit. It, it sounds so good. The, oh, oh, I accidentally read the blurbs here. And some people, and someone wrote, um, if you enjoy the lines of Locke Lamora, then I can confidently predict that the Thousand Death of Arbor Ben is the book for you. I did not enjoy the lines of Locke Lamora, and I DNF'd it, so I'm hoping this is not like lines of Locke Lamora. I just covered it up. So the next book I have here is the May Illumicrate. So if you have not gotten yours yet, don't look now. And it is The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. I was really looking forward to this. I'm really happy. And yes, we have an auto letter and we have signed book plate. But yeah, this is, can I just say, I think this looks really pretty. I like it. Adventure Princess and Hidden Priestess. Yes. So this story follows a princess who has been imprisoned on this shrine or temple by her brother and every day the, these servants come up the mountain and one of them is hiding some powers and the princess finds out and basically blackmailed her, blackmails her so that she can get the throne and get revenge on her brother. 
it's a big one and th this is also really pretty like the vines i don't know what those stands for but yeah i'm really looking forward to this and we also have empress of sand which is the uh, a duology that she wrote before this that has gotten a lot of buzz that i also want to get to but i was really pleased that this was the book that we got from the illuminate one so those are all the books that i got in july june have i said you july the entire time you know what let's yeah whatever but yeah did you get any books in june if so please tell me down below and i'll see you next time Bye.